Hello, I want to do an explanation of what I know about or what I think about the video I Pet Go 2, which is about World War III events before and events after. Very pertinent to our time. In the comments, you see, coming back to watch this after watching it years ago still gives me goosebumps. The uploader Helio Fan Channel says it's a story about the fire at the heart of suffering, which is really vague and weird for them to say. There's a one eye thing holding a baby. One eye is a symbol for the Antichrist, as the Bible says, Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. So let's start. Now, I have seen some, what's it called? I've seen some videos giving an analysis, so I get some of this information from them. I saw them years ago. This looks like FEMA camps in the United States. Now, why does this drip? Is this blood? I don't know. Why would that drip? Here you see a symbol for a pet. So a pet goat, which is what the title says, pet goat. Pet as in worshipped, goat as in Baphomet. So this is Satan. Satan and... Let's see... The owner has a gun. So this is the United States, right? <laughs> Now, on barcodes, you can see the 666 because the long two lines that stand out, there are three of them. Those are 666, and apparently they're ubiquitous in barcodes. Now, the movement here, the movement of his head makes 666, I think, was one of the analyses that I've seen before say. So he's trying to hypnotize you, and apparently the hypnotism is the video itself, because it's hypnotic or very surreal and gives goosebumps, as this lady said. I don't know why he's shaking his head, but he's smiling, so that's really weird. What else can I see here? I pet go to now maybe I don't know. Someone said that one and two more means a reference to World War Three. One, two, three. So so it's about World War Three. Also you can see the lights here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the number of man or the number of the beast. Six six six. And also the cube is a symbol for Satan. Uh, is this a cube? Looks like a like a cube box. A cube is a symbol is a symbol for Satan, as I've explained in other videos. Via Saturn, which has a hexagon. I think the yeah. So Satan, of course, S the serpent on this on the tree, and the claws are obviously satanic by the cartoonish version of that. And you can't blame God for what Satan does because what you choose when you choose to do evil and you go to hell, that's your fault. When he does when he chooses to rebel against God, that's his fault. God allows evil because he allows freedom of love and love cannot be forced, therefore he has to allow lack of love which causes suffering, and that gives room for evil. The dunce cap is symbolic of the Tower of Babel. And if you're under the Tower of Babel, that means that you're the lowest level of the Tower of Babel. That means you're an idiot. Bush is a mason, skull and bones. I think they drank from a, I think they drink from a skull, which is really disgusting. They're willing to do disgusting things to get power. 
Masonic check, of course. That was as obvious. The pentagram star. Pentagram is a reference to Satan, as I explained in other videos. And the Bible says that fallen angels are stars, like shooting stars. When you make a wish upon a star, it refers to praying to Satan for success, asking him for help. So a bush pretends to be dumber than he actually is. It's part of the act. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Star of David. This is Israel. So Antichrist Israel. And one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this refers to a nuclear, a nuclear winter for the United States, which is one of the reasons I left Miami. And I flew this way, whoosh, all the way to Switzerland, all the way to China, and then to Cambodia. No one will nuke Cambodia, I think, because why would they? <laughs> so this is a better place than the United States, despite being a poor country. And I was born in the third world, so I know how the third world is. It's not a surprise to me what I have found here. For example, the other day, a drunk guy wanted to murder me for nothing. So anyway, uh, the shark... Shark means enemies of the United States, so that was reference to Moloch, even though it's not clear if the idol was an owl. But the Lord of Darkness sees in the night, King of the Night, that's the owl. So that's a symbol for Satan. Satan is the King of the United States. The United States is a Masonic country created to be destroyed, as it declares on the dollar bill, No sordo seclorum, for the new world order to come, the old must fall. So, let's see, what else do I say here? That pose, I don't understand that pose. Well, in my, I don't know, I forgot which video I covered it, covered it in, but this was the scene of 9-11, when there was a black woman teaching, and Bush. What happened was, you have opposites you have opposites together and between them was a was a purple board purple is the color of royalty the color of red and blue combined when opposites combine you you get those two and baphomet has penis and female breasts so opposites combined is a reference to satan baphomet the goat man so that's a reference to satan the the antichrist in particular his incarnation so uh, let's see so on 9-11, he was acting. He knew that the United States attacked itself as a pretext for the United States to invade Afghanistan to lead to the present situation for Islam to rise. The United States gave the Taliban a lot of gifts before they left. It's, all the pieces are coming together. The further into the future we get, in, we get the more clear the picture. So uh, what else do I say here? The first time I saw this video, when I saw this part with the eyes shifting around, I was like, wow, this is something else. This video is not an ordinary cartoon. This is extremely interesting. I, I do wonder if his eyebrows make for something in Arabic. <laughs> So right here, the penis lands on his finger, and his right, his right eye is slightly covered, so it's a one-eye reference, and it points up and up. I don't know what that means, but I do know that the Antichrist will not have a desire for women, so he will be apparently homosexual. and. Yeah, so evolution, macroevolution, I did videos proving that wrong, and how is evolution a means to destroy people? Because it degrades them and dooms them to hell. Their destruction is almost complete, is what this says here. Uh, by corrupting the Gentiles, the synagogue of Satan, which is behind the Darwinian myth, they, they want... 
their society destroyed because when people believe they're animals they will act like animals and that's how that's one of the reasons the US is destroying itself by the poison of liberalism read the protocols of the learned elders of Zion you will understand why liberalism is nonsense and destroys countries from within it is cancer so the enemy of the shark is inside the home not just outside and the house is on fire the United States is on fire from outside enemies and inside enemies like in the video by the black guy uh, without a shirt on Cambino, I think was the name. Childish Cambino. This is America was the title, I think. Oh, hold up, hold up. Look at his hand. Look at his hand. I, I haven't noticed this before. He's, he's probably doing something. So there's this, and then there's this. Middle finger out, and then there's this. Is this ASL, American Sign Language? Because I started learning that language, and then I, I didn't keep going because of a lack of interest and lack of resources. I don't know what that means, but that's probably American Sign Language for something. Now in this scene, which is really disgusting, he's drinking the dr the dripping here. The semen, that's very disgusting. Over here you have the Mac Revolution Atheist Creation Myth. Hold up, maybe there's a better scene of it, showing more of it. So, uh, here you see three hearts. Why three hearts? I, hmm. Well, three is a symbol for the unholy trinity. I don't, I don't see this applying to it at the moment, though. So I, I don't know about this. There's a lot of things I don't know. So I'm being honest here. All right. So the dragon is Satan. And the mind is represented by the brain, by people who confuse the two because they can't tell the difference between correlation and causation. Atheists cite brain scans to try to prove that the brain is the mind, but that's like saying the Nintendo 64 controller is broken, therefore the player is dead. That's nonsense. So F equals negative F. Is good equals evil, as others have said in their analyses. That's the message here. The good equals evil. The Bible says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. But that's what they do in the United States. They say, if you're against sodomy, you're evil. And if you're a pervert, you're good. That's what they say. Now, someone pointed out that the pinpointed parts are places with crises like Katrina and the oil spill. I don't know what this would be. 9-11? Probably. And here's another place. What was that? Maybe this is Oklahoma? Oklahoma City bombings, maybe. So these were probably Masonic things for whatever. To advance the agenda. Maybe to increase security measures in the U.S. leading to less liberties. And the oil spill, well, less liberties for companies, maybe, I don't know. Uh, the heart here is interesting. So the heart, this is the mind and this is the heart, right? Feelings and the logical part. So it's only feelings that rule in the United States. Reason does not rule, is the message here, apparently. Only feelings, oh, there you go. The heart for feelings. It's all about fearing, feelings and feeling good, right? Yep, that's that's it. Liberalism is degrading, and and uh, when when a nation goes liberal like Rome, which was liberal to begin with, when they went when they went super liberal, then their empire fell. Same with the United States. Part two later, Godwin.